How about this? It's an I-90 construction project that some drivers would agree has dragged on for just too long. For the last year and a half, crews have been repairing the I-90 bridge over Lake Coeur d'Alene near Wolf Lodge Bay. So we wanted to know when will it be done? As Krem 2's Taylor Vito found out, the project hit some unexpected delays. Okay, North Idaho drivers, you know what I'm talking about. For a couple of years now, you've been coming down I-90 from Coeur d'Alene going towards Wolf Lodge, and then you come across this bridge construction project by Higgins Point. The good news is there's an end in sight. You'll just have to wait one more season. It feels as if the cones have always been here. Since the spring of 2018, crews have been repairing the bridge at what's called Blue Creek Bay. It's right by Higgins Point. And really, that project is massive. The goal is simple, to extend the life of the important bridge. The more than $10 million project has involved work both above the water and under. Divers have worked on the structure below the surface. So anytime we're doing something, we want it to last. But more than a year and a half later, traffic is still diverted onto just one half of the bridge, and traffic is dropped to two lanes. So what's taking so long? Well, the Idaho Transportation Department admits, yes, crews have hit some unexpected challenges and delays. Because of that, work will pause for a second straight winter and resume next spring. That wasn't planned. With the weather coming like it is, we don't want a chance not getting the repairs done exactly right. So we decided to go ahead and table it, come back next spring and finish it so that the public has bridges for another 50 years there. However, ITD says work is 90% done. And starting later this week, both sides of the bridge and all lanes of the bridge will be back open. It'll stay that way for the winter before work resumes next spring. And by then, even ITD's contractors will presumably be ready for a break. And so we, I think, are all ready to take a breather from construction. Outside of Coeur d'Alene, Taylor Vido, Graham 2 News.